Let's go over the conference call right now. So we're going to have a series of four conference calls on the strategy uh, this, uh, that we're going to be releasing. Our top four setups um, will be in the strategy. This is the first time we've ever done this where we put all of our strategies in one strategy and indicator with alerts. So uh, we will be getting this out to members. Here's the format. The format's going to be, I'm going to go over the structure of it this morning for around 15 minutes because I want to trade non-farm payrolls this morning. I'm going to start looking for setups. Like right now, we're looking for a failure trade right here as we speak. I'm looking for a short setup. Like I said, if you were with me yesterday uh, from around 8.30 to 11, um, we looked at uh, failure setups before they came up and then in the afternoon from 1 to 4 o'clock. And we got some big ones yesterday that worked out very well. So we'll do the same thing today. We'll, uh, we'll go to this conference call uh, today, go over the structure of it, uh, the, 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 the indicator and the strategy. This will be the first one. They'll just show you the guts of it, the inside of it, uh, what the, uh, how easy it is to, uh, to toggle on, toggle off on the top four setups. And then we'll get right to looking at setups. Um, like I said, if you're, if you're trading pre-news, pre non-farm payrolls today is at 830. We will be looking for setups after that. Um, I'm looking for a failure setup right here at uh, 4294 when it breaks, if it reverses. Um, so heads up on that a failure possible setup coming up for you uh, traders that are trading the market. We did have a failure trade here that set up perfectly at 724 this morning. And we got one setting up right now. So let's get right into it. Let's go over this. Um, let's go over this. Now, I'm, I'm going to keep this over here like this because I'm watching this setup as we speak, uh, the current setup that we're working on. Let's look at live data here on the, um, on the NQ while we watch for this ES setup going into news. So we have an indicator. We, we know that we have four setups, okay? And uh, four setups are, are the first wave. Um, the slingshot, which is the FZR full zone retracement, and then we also have our Momo trade and our failure trade. Two of my favorite trade setups, as you know, yesterday, we are pointing them out before they uh, happened yesterday, and we had some nice moves in them, is a failure trade. Just like right now, a failure trade is forming on the S&P. Well, the indicator will help you out now, so let's get into the strategy. Here's the indicator. The indicator um, is set up to look for these four setups. So the indicator, which is right here, has the first wave built in as a toggle switch, the slingshot built in as a toggle switch, the Momo built in as a toggle switch, the failure trade built in as a toggle switch. Consequently, I have the trend filter that is built in my Unirinko bar like we had before. I got my speed candles built in. I got my zones built in, which you can change if you want. I give you my settings I like. And then I have an alert system. You can change the alert system how you want it, but the alert system will alert you when an arrow comes up on one of the following, the first wave, slingshot, Momo, or failure. All right, so it will alert you on your speaker. You can change the wave to whatever you want. I made it adaptable to change it. You can change it to two, three, four, if you want to beat, whatever you want to do, or you can change your own wave file in there. Also, what I included is, we all know that my favorite four setups in here um, have one thing in common, they have the zones and they have the signal lines. So the, all four of these setups have specific criteria that are built into the code that look for these specific setups. Like this failure trade that's developing right now in the S&P Live before non-farm payrolls right now. If it turns a red reversal bar, my oscillators are pegged below uh, 40, my large oscillator, my small oscillator is below 65, then the strategy or indicator will fire an arrow here and it will go short on the strategy if it does it here in a second. So that is what can happen with the strategy and indicator. As far as the signal lines, they can be changed. They can be changed to what you want. So you can make it more adaptable to what you want. Um, I have it built into the settings that I want uh, as far as that goes. So, you know, that is something that um, that is built into the code also. Okay. So as we go down to the, through the indicator then, is I make the indicator very, very simple, okay? This indicator is very simple. I've got my four toggle switches here. Very simple, slingshot, Momo, failure, right? All together. So if I wanna activate one of them on the indicator, I just simply click it. 
let's look at the NASDAQ that just had a trade that came up here a second ago. If I apply the indicator, then it's going to fire an arrow. So there's an arrow. When this arrow comes up, that's going to be an alert. That alert is going to let you know right there that there's a, because you have the toggle switch, toggle it on, is a first wave. This is a trend change, red to green, first wave. Now the first wave is different than any other first wave we've done before because I'm adding in the oscillator below. So we have the oscillator below pulling us in with the criteria that I show you how to trade it in the room. So that is uh, uh, already built into the code. So let's say that you want to do um, a slingshot trade. You uncheck that and check slingshots. Then what will happen is the error will come up and there's your slingshot trade that will come up on the indicator and alert will come on the indicator for you. All right. So you can dictate what setup because I have it pre-built into the code. This is the first time we've ever done this in the trading room where I've included all the setups into one code indicator and strategy because I made it very simple. I don't have a lot of things you don't need. They're very simple, straightforward. I got my ATR zones and then I got my toggle switches. So it's very simple to see the toggle switches. You can toggle them on, toggle them off. So that's very, very easy to understand for some of the traders because now the first wave code is built into the toggle switch, slingshots built into the toggle switch because they all have different criteria. The Momo is built into the toggle switch, the failure is built into the toggle switch, and so on. So like I said, it's a simple click. Now if they're if they're all unchecked on the indicator, then you're gonna you're not gonna see any arrows. There won't be any alert. So you won't have anything that fires off. So some of you love my failure trades because my failure trades are very dynamic. Um, and we went over a lot of them yesterday. We'll go over a lot today going into uh, the NASDAQ, produce what over almost 15 failure trades yesterday. Um, and then we'll go over some today. I pointed out a lot to you yesterday in the morning and afternoon before the ES took a big hit. It was three for three yesterday in the morning on my failure trades. And then uh, the NASDAQ had, like I said, around 15 of them that worked uh, 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 yesterday cranking on the on the NQ. So we'll go over that today after non-farm payroll is releasing in about seven minutes. Um, I'm going to click this video off before non-farm payrolls because I want to look at setups for you guys. But I just want to go over the generality of this, uh, this algo that you're going to be getting. So I made it, what I did is I streamlined it. I streamlined it so what we can do now is we have everything right in front of us. We have our trend filter with their Uni Rinko. We got our speed candles so you can see when rolling position traders are being caught. But I've got my trail ticks, very simple. You have to put in all these extra digits like before in the old code. And then also we've got, uh, you know, uh, everything's a toggle switch now. Very simple. First wave, slingshot, Momo failure. So ideally, if you wanted to trade all four of these setups, you can set up individual charts for the first wave, slingshot, Momo, or failure. They will alert will come on in each individual trade that comes up over top of your speakers. And then also your, um, your signal lines you can change for pulling in and in these guys also if you want okay so you're able to do that all right um, let's go to the strategy and let's see if you want to do the strategy then if I go into the strategy go to the strategy strategy is I made it the same way I want to make this simple for traders I want to make sure it's easy to understand so they, they can understand that if they click slingshot here right and I got my uh, my, my ATR right here 54 38 I got my zones uh, so I can literally just click on the, I can click on enable. And what I'll do now, the strategy, wherever that arrow fires is where the strategy is going to fire. So I made it very simple. So if the indicator is firing a uh, uh, arrow based upon that specific setup, then it will fire that specific setup. So if I go in and I check whatever I want to check, I want to trade that specific setup. Let's say I want to do first wave instead. I click first wave. You can enable it, and it will stalk that first wave trade. Some of you that were in the trading room were watching this trade live this morning. Um, then I pulled it over, um, and it got all its, all its targets, and then it got the ATR. Um, you know, it, um, it got stopped out on the ATR. But, yeah, if you go to the signal line there, and you click enable there also, and now if you want to do a first wave trade, because that's a trend change after first wave, then there's your first wave. So the slingshot 
uh, you have a slingshot opportunity, and then you have a first wave opportunity. The slingshot actually worked a little bit better on that one because it got in when the push was happening. If you notice, we go back to slingshot. One of my favorite two setups are slingshot trades, and then also my um, I love slingshot trades, and I love the um, and I love the uh, the failure trade. So you know, depending on what you want to do. But if you look at it, I got the same format. There's an alert system, obviously, but NinjaTrader will already alert you if you're getting long or short. But I got my signal lines. I got my two signal lines, my longer signal line, uh, you know, my shorter signal line. You can put those in there. The one thing I did add, and uh, uh, I added two start and stop times. The start, and I'm adding one more thing here also. I'll tell you what it is. The start and stop time. Let's say you want to trade 7.30 to 11 and then 1.30 to 4 o'clock, and you don't want to trade the noon time. I added two start and stop times to do that. I'm also adding one more thing in. I'm adding a kill switch. What a kill switch is, is it will not trade like news coming up right now. It will say kill, it will say kill switch, and what it will be, um, a kill zone, and what it will be, it will, it will flatten all positions. If you put 825, like right now it's 827, it would flatten all position going into news. So let's say you put, uh, I'm adding this into the code, um, uh, as I speak, so if it is 825 and it says that we need to go 825, 835, don't trade, then it won't trade from 825 to 835. So that's something I'm adding to the code. Well, I do have four targets and a stop built in to it already. I do have a daily goal and daily stop built into the code. Uh, let's say your profit goal is uh, 3300 for the day and profit daily stop is 300 or whatever you want to do. You can put that in, the strap will stop trading. I do have the ATRs built in. Uh, the first ATR will follow the first target, and then the second ATR will follow the second target, third ATR will follow the third target, and the fourth ATR will follow the fourth target that's adjustable. There's one thing I am adding in after doing this. You, you guys know that I like on the ES, I like uh, if you're doing four contracts, I like the first four ticks off, then the second contract off at eight ticks, third off at 12 ticks, fourth off at a thousand ticks or a hundred ticks, whatever you want to do. So if you do that, uh, you, if you do that, um, what you want to do is you want to look at, uh, um, I'm putting the break even plus one at a specific target. So you can do a specific target, whatever you want to do, right? Hold on, let me kind of flatten before news here, guys. All right, so, you know, you, you can do specific Whatever you want to do, if you want to break even plus one after the second target, like I like, like I like on the ES going for four ticks, eight ticks, break even after eight ticks, then go for 12 ticks, then 1,000 ticks, I put 100 in here. Um, so this break even will have an additional parameter with it. That parameter will say, hey, where do I want break even plus at? Do I want it on my first contract, our first target or second target? I like second targets because if you go break even plus one after the first target, you typically won't get a runner. All right, so we don't want that. We want runners, right? So that's another thing I'm adding to the code right there also. So the code is very simple, as you can see. Um, I want to do this first video to show you the inside of the code and show what, what I'm doing with it. Um, like I said, we'll have a kill switch where it won't even trade during, um, uh, if you put if you see news coming up like non-farm payroll today at 830, you don't want to trade during news, right? So you'll put 825 to 835 and it would sell everything um, at the best available price, right at 825, wherever you put, or like me, uh, uh, flatten a position here on the uh, failure that was that was pre that was pre news. Um, so you know you just it will flatten positions for you as far as that goes. But you notice that I got everything preset for you. The first wave is a toggle switch, slingshot, Momo failure. What I would like to see is I would like to see um, I would like to see us. Uh, get four charts set up or educate traders get four charts set up so when these four charts are set up we might as well get this out of the way news is out we're gonna wait five minutes and we're gonna look for setups so what we'll do is is we'll wait um, we'll start looking for setups here guys around 833 to 835 after this video is over so what we'll, what you can do is you can set up individual charts based upon this first wave or slingshot or Momo or failure or whatever you want to do, okay? So that's totally up to you how you want to do it. Um, I, I envision traders setting up a first wave chart by itself, slingshot, tra shot, 
slingshot, chart by itself, a Momo, and a failure. But like I said, it's a simple check. It's a simple check. Uh, there you go. Same thing with the indicator. Uh, if you just want an alert system with arrows and you just want this, then it will only show first wave arrow trades. So you'll see first wave arrow trades. And right here, it got that big short to the downside. That's a first wave arrow trade because what it's doing is it's not just taking the first wave. Right here, it's taking, it's got a signal line. So see, see how this, this tried to get you stopped out before on the older code? This one caught that big, nice move down at 7.30 this morning on the NASDAQ because that's the first wave with the signal line. You know, so we're getting both the signal line and that. And here's another one, you know, that um, on the first wave, let's see another first wave. You see they don't come up very often. They have to qualify. So the arrows will fire. The arrows will fire when you get pulled in right here. Caught this bottom. Look at this bottom, 4 o'clock this morning. The arrow fired. You get an alert system, and this is the first wave. So this is a, on the indicator, this is a first wave. I thought we want to do a slingshot. You're going to get more setups. You're going to get more arrows. Why? Because, see, now I got uh, entry here, entry here, entry here, entry here, entry here. Entry. Because what it's doing, it's looking for a full retracement, and then we're getting that movement on the full retracement to the downside or upside. And so you'll get more with the slingshot, you know, to the downside or upside, like news right now. Let's look at 8.30 news that popped. So 8.30 news that popped. If you wanted slingshot trades, here's a slingshot trades. That's firing off right now, the slingshot trades. So it's looking for a sell. I know we're in a fast market right now. Um, but you see, you know, you, you can see the slingshot that just came up right there. You, it, it's, you can do whatever you want to do. The arrows and the audible alerts will fire. I got it on a fast time frame so you can see setups. You had three slingshots in a row right here. You can see it live. You see them working. That one worked. That one worked. That one worked. So you can strategy it or you can also do it as far as that. Okay. So